the realms go up like this. Notice that just in relationship to the physical down here, that the soul mm. is a bigger realm. You get it? And these others get bigger and bigger and bigger. There's more space to get lost in in all of this than there is down here. Mm. Is everybody with that? Inside of you, it's the same way. inside of you, not in the spirit of the great spirit worlds, but inside, these, these are planes of existence. Like if you were taking an orange and cutting it and planing it and planing it and planing it, the bottom part of the orange would be here and the middle part would be someplace up in here and then, of course, it would go back down to a small, the small end again. But just to give you an idea, those are like sections. But they're so big they're so big that they look like they curve. Like this, this universe looks like it curves. It's a plane. So how, how do you uh, use the colors and the sounds to get around? So you know where you are. But it's, it's an intellectual type of statement mm -hmm. to know where you are. Because you can't get up here without a traveler. But the Lord himself takes you up from, it, from, the t from someplace in the soul realm here. The Lord himself will take you up. And you really don't have to know who it is. But at the same time, when you look at the Lord, you start to see yourself. Until you finally get up here and you find out it was you doing all this all the time anyway. And then you're just awakening to what you didn't know all along that now you finally know. I call it the divine unknowing or the divine ignorance. Like my experience since uh, that initiation on, on this level um, is that it has been a little more hard to figure out what's going on. You're, wait a minute. Your, your initiation to what on this, this level? To the soul. Okay, my, since my soul initiation. Uh, it, I, I do feel that it's a much vaster space, and I don't quite know what I'm doing. <laughs> Not that I knew before. <laughs> but when you know you don't know is when you start to learn. The thing that's important is just, just because a person has been initiated up here, most of them want to keep traveling this way. But as a matter of fact, 99 and 44 one hundreds go this way <laughs> and you come back down on these levels the astral and the causal so forth and start to work out the karma that you never did even get close to before now if we were to take a thread and let's just say that this room here represented all of this universe here can you do that in your imagination yeah. And we took a thread, uh, let's say, and, okay, and the highest spot would be right up there above this red light. And let's call this uh, board here, this gold board, a thread. And remember now, we set it up that this room is this entire physical to this realm here. What we do is we take this thread and we bore a hole, like with a needle, all the way up through all the universes, all the way up from the physical, all the way up. And remember how big that thread is now. It's very, very small. And after you get up the top up there where that white bar is, that's the soul realm. And the only karma you've worked out is this right here. We worked out enough in each realm to dig up, to, to bore up to it. And you have all the rest of this <laughs> that's just as thick as this. Different materials, <laughs> different stuff. <laughs> Do you get all of that stuff? 
So then after you get up there, you have to come back down and start cleaning up all the, the levels. But you can't clean a level where the one above it will collapse on top of it. On these levels, it's called strata, right? Each one of these lines represents a place where people can go. Got it? Mm -hmm. So there's a physical, astral, causal, mental, etheric, and the soul. The unmind area, unconscious. So when you're up here in the soul level, you then get to come over and come down the shaft. Sound current? Right? You, gotta, you just got to go and clean it up before you're going to see the kingdom of God. The inner kingdom or the outer kingdom? The before outer. I, before, oh, okay. Well, you got to go in and clean the inside up. And at the same time, the traveler consciousness with the keys takes you up into the higher realms outside of you. Now, it's as above, so below, so below, as above, up to the soul realm here. Inside of you and outside of you, it's the same. That's why people can't tell when they're traveling in or out of the body. You need somebody there who can tell you the difference, and that's what the traveler does. He says, hello, how you doing? You're... If you say, well, gee, I've been doing my SCs, and I never see you, and I say, I don't come into your levels. And you go, oh, I get it. I'm only been traveling inside of myself. I said, I can come into your levels, but I don't, because after all, that's yours. You understand the difference? So if, so if you're not you know, seeing the traveler some way or another in the dream state or something, or you go off into a sleep, usually when you go unconscious, you're going out away from all of this into the outer worlds to work off other things. Now, you may have karma in another whole other planetary dimension that this, that this encompasses. Oh. Oh. This encompasses it. It's, when I say it's worlds without end, you should realize it's worlds without end. It's a whole another planetary dimension. So are we using like the soul, getting to the soul is almost a way to, to start accelerating the cleanup process? Yeah, you can, never, you can never really do it from here. So that's like the key, getting there to, to really do the good cleanup job. And we really go up here real fast to the soul because in the soul we can clean this without making more karma. But if we astral travel in here, we're, while we're cleaning up this here, we're throwing the junk behind us as we're going in front of us. We turn around, and there's a, all that junk. So then we throw the junk behind us, and we turn around to get out, and there's all that junk. And so we go and throw the junk behind us. It's called reincarnating back onto the astral level. Thousands and millions of years spent doing this because we're not dissolving it by moving it. All we're doing by moving it is moving it. See, the nice thing that goes on in the middle of all that is you. And if you can stay centered in the soul, which, listen, is very, very difficult because where the eyes look, the eyes go. The body goes, the consciousness goes, attention goes, and we end up doing it. That's why we tell people, be careful what you look at. So inside, when you see things, we say, if you see flowers or people looking in, just go, that's fine, and don't pay attention to them. Just keep going towards the brightness in there. Keep your eye on where you're going, because then when you get there, you can turn around and come back and enjoy all that stuff if you want to. But honestly, it isn't that enjoyable. I mean, it is enjoyable in the sense that you can get out of it. I mean, if you had to be in Disneyland for the rest of your life. <laughs> but how many of you have been, ever been to Disneyland? That's what, that's what I'm talking about. It is enjoyable, and you look forward to it. But boy, can't you wait to get in the car and get out of there. <laughs> and how many, while you were at Disneyland, got a headache? <laughs> but it's a place for fun and joy. Why did you get a headache? Because those things happen. And so I'm just trying to give you the rational rationale of it, where it's it's very simple-minded approach. Um, 
that's why it's very hard to get serious about these conversations. Yeah. Thanks.